guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so the answer key of csr net is already out and there is a time to challenge some of the questions which you think that are challengeable so i posted on my community post and i got request of so many questions but what i'm going to do i'm going to take only those which questions i have got the most number of requests okay because it's very difficult to solve each and every question so that's what i have thought of uh we will start from the most controversial question which is question id uh, 701001 which is a question from general aptitude and if you have watched my video i have discussed uh, that the answer for this question should be option number d but in the answer key the correct answer is given option number c and upon uh, you know because that was a memory based question and uh, we miss out many things over there and uh, that was just a quick response you can say for the exam that's why we make mistake and i apologize for that and i accept that yes i have made a mistake in the previous video and i'm really sorry for that because uh, that's uh, you know uh, it sometimes uh, during solving memory based questions or when you are in that flow of exam you tend to make mistakes and that's what i did i'm really sorry for that uh, i'm really sorry for telling that the answer is d actually the answer should be c i am going to explain you that now okay in this video so first of all the answer key is correct there is no need to challenge this now let's understand why exactly it is correct because uh, we are not here to just you know see the correct or incorrect question we are here to understand uh, the concept behind it so let's talk about the question it says that which one of the following graph represents the velocity versus time relation okay what i did i thought of that it should like i solved it according to speed versus time and if the question would have been speed versus time option d would have been correct option okay but uh, let me just go ahead with it relation with the motion of the ball thrown upward and returning towards the ground remaining in air for 10 seconds okay now understand that there are two things in physics one is speed and one is velocity okay speed is basically distance upon time okay distance divided by time whereas velocity is a displacement divided by time okay now speed whereas it always it is always positive okay whereas velocity can be negative also okay you can have negative velocity as well now ju just assume that there is a ball over here which is thrown upward and it reaches to certain you know certain height and then it comes back to the same position okay so let's that's what it is happening so when the ball is going upward when it is moving in this direction upward direction in that case its velocity is decreasing it is having a, a concept of a retardation you know some because you know anything which is thrown or coming back to the earth experiences a certain velocity uh, a certain acceleration which is called as g which is acceleration due to gravity and its value is 9.8 meter per second uh, square okay that's the value of acceleration due to gravity when something is going upward it is going to experience a negative acceleration because it is going against the uh, attractive force of the earth and that's why while going up the g value which it is going to experience is minus 9.8 meter per second square that is called retardation or negative acceleration and when the ball is coming down in that case it is because it is moving in the direction of the attractive force of the earth so that's why the acceleration in this time will be positive g uh, and that will be like g is equals to 9.8 meter per second square plus in the positive acceleration okay so, so what happens actually that when you throw something in the upward direction okay so when you throw something in the upward direction okay so the velocity is going to the velocity will decrease will decrease and finally becomes zero finally becomes zero okay which is not happening in option number a here the velocity is actually increasing from zero to some value that's not true option b also the velocity is increasing from zero to some value that's also not true in option number c see the velocity there was some initial velocity and then it decreased and it came to zero over here right you can see that it came to zero over here okay same thing is happening in d also it is coming to zero here now the second part of the of the ball is going to play a very important role what will happen when it is coming downward okay when it is coming downward so when it is coming downward velocity is increasing 
velocity will increase but now the velocity will increase in opposite direction in opposite direction now understand that although speed is not a directional form uh, like concept it does not have direction but velocity is a vector quantity and vector quantities have direction also so direction plays a very important role over here so when the ball was going upward the velocity was decreasing in a particular direction but when the ball is coming downward the velocity will increase but in the opposite direction so the sign of the velocity will change so that's why when the ball is coming downward in that case the velocity will be called as negative velocity okay it will have a velocity basically in the negative direction okay or in the negative uh, sign with a negative sign basically so that is why you will see that when the velocity has when you have thrown it uh, the velocity is decreasing and it is becoming zero and after that the velocity is increasing see the velocity is increasing if i give the number over here so it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so the velocity is increasing from 0 to minus 4 and here let's say this is 1 2 3 4 so initially the velocity was 4 it became 0 and then it is started increasing but with a negative sign because the direction has changed first the ball has went up and then the ball is coming down so the direction of the velocity has changed and that's why option c is correct option okay there is nothing wrong in it now you can search this particular thing there are so many references for this so don't challenge this question okay uh, so question number 7011 uh, 70 1001 you need not to be challenged okay this is correct question i hope you understood the concept no need to challenge this question and i'm really sorry for the previous video where i told that option d is correct okay so option c is the correct option for this the next requested question is 701048 uh, the correct option given in the answer key is one and that is correct i have also discussed the same question in my uh, memory based question for part b and there also i have explained this question how to solve see many people have thought that this answer will be zero and uh, how they are doing it because they have studied it that the commutation of h and px is equals to zero but remember that when you were discussing that over there this hamiltonian was having this term that is px square by 2m and it was also having a v, a, a v uh, where this v was potential and that was constant let me explain you over here this v is not constant it's a function of x that's why it is written vx okay so you cannot consider it as a constant and try to solve it in that way so that's why this answer zero cannot be true answer is given correctly over here that is i h cross dv by dx i have solved it in detail in my memory based question okay in my memory based question of physical chemistry two marker i have done already i'll give you link in the i button okay so in the i button you will get that link and uh, you can watch that video around 10 minutes to get the detailed solution of that so i'm not solving that question here because I, ha I have already done that so please watch that particular video option one is correct no need to challenge this particular question as well this is correctly given in the answer key next question which you guys have uh, requested is 701049 the correct answer according to the answer key is 2 and again i have solved this this is a two marker question right i have solved this in my memory based memory based solution video okay so i have done that already and uh, i have explained this in detail how to solve this this was pretty easy question i think there was nothing to be done and i can solve it very quickly for you over here you know that px is equals to minus ih cross d by dx and your psi over here given is e to the power i k x so if you operate it that is if you operate p x psi this is going to become minus i h cross d by dx of e to the power i k x you know that d by dx of e to the power a x e to the power a x will be a e to the power a x so whatever is in the coefficient of x that comes in front that's what you have to do so 
minus i h cross the coefficient is i k and e to the power i k x that is what you will get upon solving this minus will remain it will become i square h cross k e to the power i k x you know that i square is minus 1 and that minus 1 is going to cross or that is going to make it plus so it becomes h cross k and e to the power i k x so this is nothing but psi so it becomes h cross k psi so p x psi is equals to h cross k psi so this becomes eigen value which is option number two so that's correct okay no problem with this question as well it's pretty correct no problem with that so these were some two marker questions which you guys have asked i think these are the enough two marker questions which have been asked four marker questions i'm checking i'll be uploading this video first so that uh, you know everybody of you get this as soon as possible and then i'll look upon the four marker questions so stay tuned for that i'll be uploading the other questions which you guys have requested in the four marker and uh, that will video is dropping soon so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah uh, take care and keep watching